My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Letters Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days to Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 99 of the 120 Days to Jam at Matis with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at some, not just now some, three integration questions. In the previous episode, I introduced integration and I told you that integration is the converse opposite of differentiation. To get a function that has been differentiated, you integrate. That is it for you. And I also told you that if you are given an algebraic expression and told to differentiate, you will say the power times the function, then you subtract one from the power. But for integration, you don't subtract. You add one to the power and you divide by the power. Then you add plus C to show that a constant has been accounted for. In this case, if I say, if given this function, I say integrate, you will simply tell me that this is 3s raised to the power of 4. You add 1 to the power, 4 plus 1, then you divide by everything here, 4 plus 1, don't mind me, 4 plus 1, 4 plus 1. This will give you 3s raised to the power of 5 over 5. You add plus C. For jump, you see the options obviously with the ones with plus C. But in heck, if you differentiate an indefinite integral without adding constant, you may lose mark because it is very, very important to add plus C after integrating. For this, this is the same thing as 8s to the power of minus 2. So, Integrating this guy, you are going to get 8 s to the power of minus 2. Integration says add 1 to the power. So, plus 1 over divide by everything here to have minus 2 plus 1. This will give you s minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 over minus 2 plus 1. That is also minus 1. So, that is it. Simplifying this, you should get minus 8 over minus 8 times 1 over 8. This is it because s raised to the power of minus 1 is 1 over s. There is already minus here. So, this is minus 8 times 1 over s. And this is the same thing as minus 8 over s plus c. Don't always forget plus c. Then, here, yeah. remember we did differentiation of sum and difference, right? For integration of sum and difference, the rules of differentiation of sum and difference will apply. When you are given a function separated by plus or minus and you are asked to integrate, what you simply do is integrate them one by one one by one let me this is the same thing as integ integral of 4 ds plus integral of 3 over 7 s ds plus no here is minus minus integral of 6 s squared ds so the reason i did this is to show that you can in integrate them one after the other since they are separated by plus and minus so, integrating this, when you integrate 4, you get 4s. Remember, I told you that once you differentiate 4, you get 0. Now, if you differentiate 4s, what do you have? When you differentiate 4s, you get 4. So, to get 4s back, you must integrate 4. Because 
integration is opposite of differentiation. If integrating 4s gives 4, no. If differentiating 4s gives 4, then integrating 4 will give us back 4s. When you integrate a constant, add s to it. When you differentiate a constant, it is 0. But when you, when you integrate a constant, it is not 0. You add the variable to it. If you integrate 4, 4s or 4t or for whatever the function is, take note of that. This is 4s plus if you differentiate, if you integrate s, this is something like s to the power of 1. Integration says add 1 to the power, divide by the power. This is s squared over 2. So, for integration, when you integrate s, you get s squared over 2. Meaning, here will be 3 over 7, s squared over 2, minus integrating here, it is 6s squared plus 1 over 3. Add 1 to the power, divide everything by the power. That will give you 6s to the power of 3 over 3. So no need to add this again. We've integrated. Let us simplify this expression to have 4s plus 3 over 14 s squared minus 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2s to the power of 3. So this is the answer. Let's say plus c because it is an indefinite integral. Ladies and gentlemen, with this, we come to the end of this episode. In the next episode, we shall be looking at some standard integrals. Remember, under differentiation, I told you if you differentiate a constant, you get 0. If you differentiate s, you get 1. If you differentiate this, you get this. If you differentiate sin s, you get cos s. If you differentiate sin theta, you get cos theta. So, in the next episode, we shall look at some standard integrals as well. By the way, I hope you learned something from this episode. See you! In the next episode and don't forget to tell your friends about the flash finance youtube channel don't forget to share with everyone don't forget to let me know how you feel and don't forget to get the flash finance jam application